Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground eats the playground. I'm Matt Givens. I'm Jeff Rappaport. Wow. Jeff, what's in the news today? So, Frontiers Records, which I believe is based out of Italy. Perhaps. They released a lot of, like, like uh, older stuff. Hard, hard rock and... Yeah. Not just older stuff, but a lot of hard rock. Right. They're not more so like, much metal. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, yeah. So, they're releasing Pat Travers' new band called Can Do. Oh, is that the name of the band? Pat Travers' band. I thought that was... Oh, Pat, okay, I thought, I thought Can Do was just the album. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can Do is the album. Okay. It's Pat Travers', Pat Travers band. band is the group. Okay. Yeah. On July 5th in Europe and July 9th in North America. Do you know about Pat Travers? You no, you know what's interesting? Like, I probably heard the name in passing, but I really had never specifically checked it out or, or no, like, I never heard a song and was like, oh, well, that's Pat Travers. Nobody said anything. So then I was reading the history. Apparently, he's been around since before I was born. You know, his, actually, yeah, his career, it said he had a 37 year career, so his career is as old as I am. And, uh, you know, I listened to some of it, and I really enjoyed it. Did you hear that one like song? Blues Hard Rock. Is there a famous song? No. Snorting whiskey <laughs> and drinking know. cocaine. You ever heard that I, song? I think I may have heard that, actually. Yeah, it was a pretty popular song. It's like, that's what the song they're most popular <laughs> for. Interesting. Well, I think I just, I listened to a clip of newer stuff, I think. I think the article I read had a clip of... Uh, they rock, man. But yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah. Like, I'm like, wow, what? where's this been? They, like, they jam. But I, I, my story about that is, uh, Pat Travers' band is, um, back before I went to Fat Tracks, I used to go to a comic book store called El Dorado Comic Books. It was it was originally in Pensacola, and then it moved to Cherry Hill. It was in Kings Highway, Cherry Hill, right near Super Bowl. And uh, what one Play thing? Drum, you mean? Right near, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play drum. It used to be right. it used to be Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Back in the day. Yeah, I was a kid. I don't know. It used to be Jim Korea's gym. Back then, when yeah. I used to work out there, with, that's where I met Chris Forbes. Actually, interesting. <laughs> now, funny how everything comes together. It's yeah, a small world. yep. I used to work out there. So, um, anyways, they, they, the comic book store uh, they started carrying records, it's good. and because I heard that song "Certain Whiskey, Drinking Cocaine," the first record I ever bought there was a Pat Travers record. Oh, interesting. And I think I believe you know. I when meant you to, say record, you mean vinyl? I mean actual vinyl. Yeah, and I I meant I meant to. Um, to research it, to make sure I was right on all this stuff, the name of the song, I mean. But uh, I, I believe the name of the album was Radioactive. Mm -hmm. don't, don't hold me to it if I'm wrong. But the first... So in the comments, criticize him if you Yeah. Don't. And if... Also, I'm going to wake up and go, That's, he didn't sing Snort Whiskey Drinking Cocaine. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. That's a great song, whoever sang it. That was Travis Pat. Yeah. That, yeah, that was... Travis Pat. That was Travis Pat Band. But, um... Yeah, but, but I remember getting it and it was fucking it rocked. It was like and, and like it was something nobody else had too. I'm like Yeah. Like I like I I was bring my friends, I'm like, Hey, you get a new Pat Travers I'm like Wait, you have that? Like you know, it was like one of those weird things that nobody had. I was like always trying to even that was before metal. Right. You know, like it's before I started even buying metal records, I think I was probably like mm -hmm. eleven or twelve when I bought nice. that record. That's yeah. Cool. So that's my history with Pat Travers. Nice. Always rocking. Uh, I didn't hear uh like this was a tough week for me, and I was really busy. I didn't get to hear any of the new material. You said it was good, though. Yeah, it was pretty good. It sounded, uh, I wish I could think of a good comparison. It was just like bluesy, hard rock, kind of, uh, uh, not exactly proggy, like not complex or anything like that, just kind of uh, well-orchestrated, maybe a good way to put it, hmm. well-composed, like the bass. Like the bass was doing something different than the guitar was. Like it wasn't all just like following the root notes or whatever. Did it make, uh, a, well, it make a Black Shepherd cry? It did. Is that one of his other songs? Yeah. <laughs> I could make a Black Shepherd cry. I like it. But I really enjoyed what I heard. I, you know, I, it made me want to check out his, his past catalog and uh, possibly the new album. I'm not going to Italy to get it, so hopefully it's being released. Does it make you want to um, start whiskey and drink cocaine? It does. It does. Okay. You never heard that song, huh? I don't believe so. That's a rocket song. I'll have to check it out uh, in the interim. All right. But, Pat uh, Travers? Travers, thumbs up. Two thumbs I like up. I what I heard, yeah.